guys, Michael Watts here, and this video is my way of saying thank you to everyone on the record section of the Acoustic Guitar Forum, the AGF. Uh, in particular, Eric Skye, Doug Young, and Anton Emery. Thank you so much for your feedback following my How I Record the Acoustic Guitar video. Uh, guys, you'd asked to see what goes on in Logic, and I'm about to show you. Uh, without being, um, you know, flippant or facetious, it really is close to nothing. Um, if you remember me saying in my previous video, I'm very old school when it comes to recording of any sort, and I believe in quality of sound at source. If you follow that methodology, everything should just fall into place. Simplicity, quality at source, you should be in control of what's going on. Um, anyway, I'm going to show you now what happens in Logic. I should point out um, that I'm not using my uh, gefels in order to show you this because then I wouldn't have been able to record and play at the same time. Uh, so I've jerry-rigged uh, an audio solution using a uh, DPA 4099 and the uh, device preamp as well. So you can tell me what you think of this audio as well. Here we go into Logic. Right, so as you can see, this is my MacBook Pro. We've got two tracks here, open in the project, uh, panned hard left and right in this instance. There are no uh, EQ or effects bits engaged at all, um, except for a tuner, which I've strapped across both channels and made sure it's big enough to see um, what's happening at the moment. Okay, a little outtake there, whatever that was. It really is that simple. No effects, no EQ, certainly no reverb, uh, a tuner and um, panning. That's it. Before I go, I did just want to mention that Doug Young has done some fantastic comparison recordings uh, in response to the video that I posted, uh, including a uh, comparison of Sheps and Gefell mics, as well as all sorts of other sexy kit. Thank you very much, Doug. Uh, that's it from me. Until next time, stay tuned.